What is up guys, it's your boy Steady Chaos, and so I wanted to reach out to the YouTube community and ask you guys a quick question about the Elgato 4K60 Pro MK2 card. So as you can see right there, I keep losing signal, uh, and now the screen is all messed up. I don't understand what's going on. So the first week I got this card, everything ran flawlessly. You've maybe checked out some of my Call of Duty Cold War Let's Play videos in 4k 60 with a high bitrate everything was looking crystal clear and sharp it was awesome i really liked the card and then i've noticed the last few days the only thing that's changed is i've installed an rtx 3080 and i'm getting signal dropouts now when i record games in 4k 60. i don't know what the problem is like i said i'm using the same cables i haven't changed any of the settings in obs or anything so i don't know what's causing these signal dropouts they're so random but they're so frustrating because I can't find a solution. I've tried Googling this and it seems like a lot of people do have problems with these Elgato capture cards. But they don't seem to be the same type of problem I'm having where everything for the most part's working fine. Then you just get a quick signal dropout and then it comes right back. I haven't seen a lot of information on that. I've tried reaching out to Elgato customer service and I'm waiting for their reply. But I mean I've tried a bunch of troubleshooting things in the meantime. I've tried new HDMI cables that are at least HDMI 2.0 with 18 gigabits per second and it's the same problem I've tried uninstalling the drivers oh there it is I've tried uninstalling the drivers for the Elgato card and reinstalling them same problem I've tried returning all of the settings in OBS back to default same problem uh, I've tried unseating the PCI Elgato card in my computer and then plugging it back into my motherboard, same problem. I've tried deactivating the card in the device manager and then reactivating it, same problem. The only thing that seems to take away the random signal drops is if I change the PS5 to 1080p resolution. And then I don't seem to have as many signal drops. But I don't understand why that is, because this Elgato card is specifically for 4K 60 HDR capture. And that's what I'm recording in, 4K60 HDR capture, and I'm using, like, a, they're unbelievable. And I'm using an HDMI 2.0 cable in to from uh, the PlayStation 5 to the card, and then an HDMI 2.0 cable out from the card to the TV. And I'm playing on an LG C10, which clearly has enough bandwidth to do 4K60. So I don't know what the problem is. I don't know what keeps causing these signal drops. But for the time being, I can't record any more Let's Plays because there are so many intermittent signal drops and it just ruins the recording. So, uh, like I said, I reached out to Elgato. And I'm waiting to hear back from them before I return the card to Amazon and then go with an Aver Media card because I am not. I'm so sick of Elgato. I was having a lot of problems with prior to this Elgato 4K60 Pro MK2. I had the Elgato HD60 S Plus. And that worked fine on the PlayStation 4 Pro, but then when I got the PlayStation 5, it was signal dropping, it was getting no signal at all for like minutes on end. So I was like, okay, fine, I'll upgrade to the Elgato MK2 because I have the PlayStation 5, I'll be playing in 4K more. And here we are, uh, more issues. So honestly, Elgato can, um, can F off because <laughs> I am just so t sick and tired of this card having problems. This is a $230 capture card, brand new and it's just giving me nothing but headaches. So if you guys have had this kind of similar problem, please, please let me know in the comment section down below how you fixed it, if you even were able to fix it. And uh, yeah, that's gonna do it for me. Uh, signing off a very frustrated Steady Chaos Productions. See you guys later.